Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Maid. And we are working, still, on my factory ship. I was thinking today I might start blocking out the exterior. So I would like to grab some... Uh, let's see. I don't want to advance standard. Gray standard. Dark gray standard. Dark gray standard. Dark gray standard. Black standard. And red standard. Alright. So, how am I going to do this? Let's do a light gray here. Yeah, something like this. Ooh, yeah. There we go. And maybe too tall here. Not too tall as in exceedingly tall, but two as in two units tall. So let's go for too wide. Alright. Let's get rid of that. How did I do that? Is that right? Yes, it is. Alright. Let's go to something like this. There we go. Now that I have a vague idea of what I'm doing. Alright, and let's do something like this. There we go. Little cut out there. And like that. Alright. So I have a little faceplate, if you will, on the um on the actual mining array. Let's see. I like having my mining ships be red for some reason. Let's see. Now, how do I want this to work? Because I need this to be up a little. Let's see. How about we do something like this? And. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, stop that. No. No. Maybe. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna do, like, this, this sort of sharp angle thing here. Right. And I'm just blocking things in. This is nowhere near final. It isn't going to even pretend to be final. Um, it probably will never be final. Uh, let's see. Let's do like an, a, a uh, dark gray thingy here. Let's turn off my flashlight. Because even though I love the flashlight feature, I don't want it right now. There we go. And something like that. There we go. Here's a mohawk. Now, how am I going to do this? Uh, let's do these like in compartments. So, this is like a unit here. So I'd like like a red space here. Yeah, something like this. And it will come down like so, maybe? Hmm. To want the C's take you down to ten. Should probably change that. To, uh, let's hit um, remove, replace, pick with camera, replace with active slot. There we go. Change these to red. There you go. Clear. Clear. Maybe something like this, and cover this up like that. And here we're going to have some sort of line of demarcation. And I want it to come up. One, two, three, five. Uh, in fact, we might do something like this in a 
gray or a dark gray and below five. And have some sort of, I don't know, gray thing here. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. With one in the middle. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, six. Hmm. Yeah, something like this. Again, I'm getting bogged down in details, so I don't need to be bogged down in yet. But just kind of blocking things out, at least the top. Because there, I normally I'm gonna do this off camera, but anyway. In fact, ooh, ooh, yeah, there we go. And there, that makes that transition piece there. And I need to make sure I'm not messing up symmetry. I am messing up symmetry. All right, dummy. When you build asymmetrically, you can't do that. So, there we go. So, let's do something like this. All right, and run this line across there. That's something I need to be mindful of. I need to Remember that this is not built symmetrically, or the interior isn't symmetric. Well, not entirely symmetric. So I got this piece coming this way, this piece going that way, stuff here and there and yonder. It's not here, there, or yonder, elsewhere. Let's see, and let's do something like this. There we go. Okay. So we're getting there. Although in this general region, where's my cargo? You. Alright, now I'm going to add the um, XY symmetry. Why am I adding XY symmetry? So I can see where this middle piece is. Uh, no other reason. There we go. I'm going to build a block around that. There we go. Alright. Two. Three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Uh, that should be that should be level. Yeah, it is. And that is directly above my my um, cargo. In fact, I could just punch a hole. But no, no, can't because there is there's other stuff. It's not really important that it's directly above my cargo, but it it, it is directly above my cargo. All right, yeah, let's do something like that. There we go. This is going to be a pain to do all this, isn't it? I I don't really like whole design as much as I like interior and getting things to work. So let's see. Uh. But I, but for the next stage, I needed at least this much laid out. Because what I would like to do is have a special docking port. Uh, right here, have a special docking connector. It might even be a proprietary connection. I'm not even sure that I put the uh, unload dock here so I can link onto a station and unload the contents of my cargo. So I wanted this in fact we could just rip this out and leave room for logic here. There we go. One, two, three, four. In fact I'm doing this right here. I'm making a little room. A little five by five room for logic for lights or anything like that. I guess we could put the logic in with the rest of the logic, but 
I, I think segregating it here, right where I'm working, is going to be better. So that is the reason I'm I'm doing some more hulling today, is because I want or I want to work on that uh, proprietary probably not even be proprietary this unloading dock or yeah unloading dock, and it has been forever since I've worked with uh, loading and unloading rails. So I need a refresher course. And I'm debating whether or not to do that on off camera or not. Because it's going to be painful to watch me struggle through it. Ah, you watch me struggle through all types of things. So. Six. There we go. I want to get bogged down in, in detailing yet. but There we go. Now, here's a question. Do I want to leave this a sharp angle, or do I want to round it? Let's see. Let's do something like this. See how that looks. I might leave that a sharp angle. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that a sharp angle. And... There we go. And this way. Means I'm going to need some tetras. Well, I don't know how how this is going to connect anything quite yet, so I'm leaving. I'm not doing that quite yet. And a hepta. So is, is that the right one? It is the right one. Awesome. Hmm. And there needs to be something here that isn't red. So I don't know. I'm going to stick this here to remind me to put something here that's not red. Doesn't... Don't know what it is. Probably doesn't even matter. As long as it is... As long as it's not red. Probably need to, like, cut some vent holes or something. To make it more interesting. Let's see. And how wide was that? It was six. That was six. Interesting choice for sizes. Okay. And then I think here. Ah, uh, what do I want to do here? Do I want to do like a dark gray underbelly? Uh, how wide is this? Fourteen. That's fourteen. Let's see. I think I just want to come straight down with the this 45 degree angle. Let's see how this looks first. Before we make any of these big decisions. Now this is my spaceship. I get to make all these big decisions. I'm going to put a happy little 45 degree angle here. And there are no mistakes, there are just happy accidents. Alright, there we go. And then maybe bring, bring him in like this. And you're saying, wow, that's thick armor. Yeah, I don't mind that this is thick armor because that's my reactor. And although, as I've said before, this is not a combat vessel, so I don't, I'm not going to go looking for fights in this, but it's going to be nice to have a little protection. There we go. There needs to be something here. Let's rip some spots out to signify JW put something here. Something interesting, maybe. Hopefully something interesting. Oh, did I take it? No, I didn't take out a... There we go. Maybe cut some, like, vent holes or something. There we go. And have... I don't know, like, girders or... or girders, grates or something fun. Actually, let's... 
inset these a little. There you go. Uh, let's click somewhere over there and stick a wedge. Somewhere in the mining array that you'll never, ever find. That sounds fun. In fact, let's do... Let's do it like this. Oh, what are you doing? I don't want to change blocks just for one. There we go. And maybe something glowing here. I don't know. Maybe we'll have like a, a logic y thing that turns on and off lights uh, when the. Um, while the beam is going. I don't know. We'll work something out, but I want this to be something decorative and fun. Uh, but. That's going to have to wait till later. But I am going to make this a bit larger to to um, show me there's something here special you want to dumb, done, dummy. I'm going to forget entirely about it, say, well, that's stupid, and rip it out and do something else. But uh, that's the nature of Star Maid. Well, and I really need to finish the bridge. I will do that later. I also need to cap off these hallways. I'll do that later, too. All right, I have been JW608. This has been prepping, or starting hulling, and prepping for a few more features. Do I want to? I don't know. We'll, I will work on that later. Hopefully, next time we will either do the decorative lighting on the front, or if I've had time to uh, work on and refreshing my understanding of loading and unloading rails, maybe do this docking point. Um. But anyway, I've been JW608, this has been StarMade, and I'll dig you cats later.